So in this video, um, we're going to see how Ptolemy's theorem, combined with a couple other um, nice uses of things we know about circles, can be combined to solve a problem that otherwise seems very difficult. And that is, um, you've got a uh, triangle, and this triangle is inscribed in a circle, which isn't a big deal because every triangle can be inscribed in a circle. But this one has a specific kind of circle, and that's one with radius 5. Well, there are actually two ways that you could inscribe this circle. One looks like this, right, where this is the side length you're trying to find. And then the other looks like this. where this is the side length we're trying to find. So let's do both of them um, separate from each other. Now, the method actually turns out to be very similar. Let's start by putting in the center of the circle. We know that it has a radius of 5, so it turns out if you draw this in right here, this diameter, that's going to be our key. And it's our key because we know how long that is. And it's also our key because it allows us to know something about a diagonal of a quadrilateral. Now, you may stare at this for a bit and say, well, wait a second, I don't know the other two sides. Well, it turns out you actually do. This diagonal is 10, and this is a right angle, and this is a right angle. And that's because the diagonal is also a diameter, and thus, from a familiar theorem, we know that those are right angles, so that shows this is a cyclic quadrilateral. Using Pythagorean theorem, we find out that this length is 5 root 3, and this is 8. And so now we can apply Ptolemy's, which gives us 5 times 8 plus 5 root 3 times 6 equals 10 times x. So that gives me 40 plus 30 root 3 equals 10x. Divide 2 by 10, and I get 4 plus 3 root 3 is the value for the third side, the x, of our triangle. Okay, applying the same principle again, um, if we were to draw in a diameter here, right, um, then if we were to draw in these two to the same point, they also give us right angles. This is still 10, this is still 5 root 3, except that now in this problem that actually turns out to be um, a diagonal of our cyclic quadrilateral. And then this turns out to be 8, which is actually a side length of the cyclic quadrilateral. But the same principle is applied. What we're trying to find is actually a side length. And so you're going to have 10x, again, equals, this time it's going to be, um, or 10x at the side length, plus the other side length, which is 40, equals, well, the diagonals are 6 and 5 root 3, so 30 root 3. That gives you 10x equals 30 root 3 minus 40. Divide 2 by 10, and you get x equals 3 root 3 minus 4. It shows a very nice and powerful use of Ptolemy's theorem um, on, a, on a, pretty, a pretty good problem. And you can really do this for any values of 5 and 6. And you'll find out that if 5 and 6 are both the same, it's an isosceles triangle, there's actually only one value for x, whereas in these cases, the rest of them, there are two values.